Through the heavy fog and difficult terrain, emergency crews slowly began their search for signs of life, setting up a command post and hunkering down for an effort that continued well into the night. Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, and the foreign minister were returning from an event along the border with Azerbaijan, the opening of a water dam. The chopper took off reportedly without incident before encountering bad weather. In an interview with state television, Iran's interior minister said the helicopter was forced to make what he called a rough landing as that search and rescue mission began. Some Iranians gathered in public to pray at the urging of the country's supreme leader. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei called this a disturbing incident, offering prayers of his own for the president and his companions. He also tried to reassure the public, saying the affairs of the country, including security, will continue as normal. The helicopter crash comes at a time that Iran, both political system, the economy, even the military are all in crisis. Raisi was elected in 2021, leading as the country experienced high unemployment and inflation, facing intense anti-government protests over the death of Masa Amini, the young woman taken into custody because police said she wore her hijab incorrectly. Abroad, Iranian tensions with Israel and the West remain high, with Iran supporting Hamas and other proxies in the Middle East. This is a fraught moment for the Islamic Republic at a time that it faces more challenges on so many different fronts all at the same time. Experts warn it's too early to say how this could impact the war in the Middle East. U.S. President Joe Biden has been briefed on the situation and is monitoring developments. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.